What's good, y'all? So check this out, bro. We got wash your waves like this. When your hair is short, all right, by Wave Man J. All right, if you got short hair, he about to show you how to wash your hair. You feel me? I guess it's only for people who got short hair. So if your hair is short like his or mine, this is how you wash your hair. Like the video if you wavy, bro. So, back when I was a beginner waver, I used to love the wash and style method, all right? The wash and style method. It's like a cheat code. Method, so I used to love wash and styles. Hey, if y'all don't do wash and styles, bro, then I don't know what you're doing, bro. The washing style is like a cheat code, bro. It's the quickest way to get waves. Try it. Try what he doing. And what comes with washing styles is Walton. So growing my hair out and washing styles, right? But we all know what happens at the end of Walton, the cut down. So I love doing washing styles and getting great results. And I'm making a lot of progress on my wolf. And then suddenly, after I cut off my wolf, wow, I, have, I made so much progress. Bro, I just cut the my hair. The first style I do after I cut my wolf. It's always sub subpar, it's always lacking. And I always found myself like feeling like I've been losing progress whenever I did a washing style after I cut my, my wolf. But eventually, I learned how to correctly do washing styles after you cut the wolf. But you don't end up losing progress, so you don't have to go weeks and weeks and weeks without cutting it, without doing a washing style. So it smells a lot. But I found the perfect balance, and this is how you do a washer style when your hair is short. So I cut my wool around a little bit over a week ago, like 10 days ago. Now, when you cut your wool on below your curl length, you want to wait at least like a week before you wash your hair. So let's say you get a haircut on Sunday, don't wash until the next Sunday. That's a good rule of thumb. Damn. You know, you smell it. And you basically take yeah, like that taper ability to lose a significant amount of progress. Now, Cold you with it. it a little bit, then you can do your first wash and style after six Hey, now, I would you I would never take that long on not washing my hair, bro. I just can't do it, bro. I just can't do it. We'll need a medium brush. Preferably a medium brush that's like you don't really care about or that's a shower brush. This is a shower medium brush. Okay. It's plastic. So it doesn't get messed up. I'm gonna be using a curved and a straight one. It's a vertical brush and this is just a regular brushing. Just make sure you have, the, you know, at least a medium brush. Don't use a medium soft brush. At least a medium brush so you don't really care about that's like plastic or meant for getting wet. You will need a shampoo, obviously. I'll be using this wave one. There y'all go. Y'all better get y'all brushes, get y'all shampoos. And a little bit more optionally, a comb, because you might have to comb out your hair at least a little bit for that first wash. And of course, water, because you're not about to wash your hair without using water. What are you going to wash your hair with? Oil? But you will be needing oil. You don't need oil. Get you some oil. We're going to see later in this video, there's a very, very, very cool method you can do to live oil, which gives you a lot better results. Let's go. So you should know how to do a wash and style by now. So I'm going to start with combing. So I hear you. Nasty so y'all. Here you go right here. He's about to show y'all how to wash your hair when you got short hair. So pay attention so you know what to do. So you don't be asking questions. Maybe not the last part, but it's very uncomfortable to comb this up. So we're just gonna I'm just gonna go through this fast. I'm not even gonna care about combing it out really good or whatever. I don't even have that much hair on my head to begin with. This comb is probably too thick. I should have used a different one. So after you comb out your hair, you're gonna wanna wet your hair with warm water. Warm water so you can open up the pores, be able to absorb, you know, the, the goodness from the oil and like the, the moisturizing properties from the shampoo. So you wanna so you wanna use warm water. I'm stressing that you don't wanna do the first wash with cold water, you wanna do the last wash with cold water. But the first two washes need to be with warm water. First wash. What is that? Shampoo? What kind of... It look all gooey. This is my brush. This is brushing it. This is the washing style, y'all. This is how you, this is how you yeah, basically I cheat. You feel me? If you don't do this, you gotta do it. Now you want to brush your hair for around 20 minutes. 
1528. Make sure you know you go in with that. This is the first watching sign since you you cut the wolf in there, so you gotta go hard with this one. So 15 to 20 minutes. Let's go. Y'all see how his waves come in, bro? Y'all need to add this to y'all routine, bro. This is how you get waves fast. This is how you, bro. The more, you know, moisturized, the more, you feel me, wet your hair is, the better it corroborates. Right, so we're on halfway through. You wanna do this method. So take your oil, right? The penetrative oil. Don't use a sealant oil for this. Come on, you should know better. It's in the name. I and never put oil in my hair doing a washing style. I'm not a right person, but apply it throughout your hair. Bro, I've never done this, this before. the results of your washing style better. And it will even make the lather, the current lather right here, it will make the lather better. So yeah, use a nice penetrative oil. I'm gonna try this. And keep brushing for like five to 10 more minutes. Or however much you have left. Ooh. Right, take my brush and keep brushing. I'm gonna try this, bro. But that oil should make make your hair soft. It should make it, you know, corroborate yeah. more. You feel me? You know, if you put enough oil, don't like waste the oil, but the oil has like a thick enough color. The color of the lather will start to change. So my lather is gonna turn yellow. Y'all need to add this to your routine, okay, so bro. Finish brushing. That's what you want to do. You want to take your brush, right? You want this nice lather just in there for no reason. Boom. Take that lather back in. Boom. Put that on your head. I gotta try okay. this. This is new information for me. I gotta try this. I gotta do this and put it back in my head. I gotta put oil in while. I gotta try that. So what happens when you watch a video, you learn new stuff. Put that on your head. This is what I'm talking about, that shampoo bar lather. That's what I'm talking about, man. If you want a shampoo bar, link in the description. I got 15% off. Use my code. Or click on my link. I'm just This is what I'm talking about, bro. This lather, bro. The only way to get lather that looks like thick, 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 bro, is if you use that shampoo bar. Now after you lay it down your hair, wet the lather. <laughs> you just want to hear bro, it. Bro, you can get lather thick like that with anything, bro. Shampoo, as long as your hair is wet enough, it's going to create enough lather. You know it's our hair. You feel me? Sometimes, you know, the hairline. But hey, go ahead, get your promote, you know what I'm saying? Promote your, you know what I'm saying? Take your brush. Get your promote on, man. Straight brush. Get your promote on, man. Just brush your hairline now. Right before you put on the do-rag. Brush your hairline now. Yep. That way, when your when hair dries, it's like the hairline just dries like this instead of like this. Just like that. Right? Yeah. He did a brush session with the shampoo in. Now he's about to rinse it all out. Let it dry up, let it lay down, and the results gonna be crazy. And this is my favorite part. See the lather? Mm. I can't really see it like that. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. That's, some, that's, that's real lather right there, bro. Shampoo lather, that is real lather. Alright, so now I'm gonna rinse my hair out, but cold water. Cold water can want to get the best results, so we want to, you know, keep the goodness, the goodness from the oil and the goodness from the moisturizing shampoo and shampoo bar. So I'm gonna rinse my hair out, but cold water is very important to do that, especially if you had an oil. Yep, use that cold water. Uh, let me dry this up by itself. Now I'm gonna wait around three hours, as long as it takes for my hair to be dry, and I show y'all the results. Results in Discord. Hey, ain't no results, but dope video.